members and visitors in the gallery, please rise for the prayer. We are pleased to have with us today Iman Azar Subidar from Port Charlotte at the invitation of Representative Chevron Jones. Iman, please approach the well. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. With the rising of the sun, a new opportunity has been gifted to humanity at large. To make use of it now is assured for us. Whilst looking back to yesterday, it has slipped from us. And forward to the morrow, it is beyond us. Hence, we acknowledge the gift of this moment in time as we pray in your name. Dear Lord of the universe, thank you for opportunity and ability to utilize your granted tools of time, health, and prosperity to pursue a world of stability and harmony. O Almighty One, the mere fact that we awoke this morning, we are grateful. The ability to breathe, move, and communicate, we are thankful. The opportunity to make change for the better, we are hopeful. In acknowledgement of these all blessings and more, we implore you, O Creator and Sustainer, as the flames of tyranny and injustice engulf our world, allow us to restore civility and justice. As humanity fractions into sects and groups, allow us to demonstrate the power of unity. As the bloodshed of innocent ones becomes the norm, allow us to preserve life and refuge humanity. The elected men and women of this chamber acknowledge the position they hold and the people they represent. Despite their eloquence and influence, they too are in need of your guidance and mercy to demonstrate maturity and love for the entire humanity as they fulfill their pledge to uphold and promote this nation and its ideals. O oh, merciful one, this great nation of ours was founded on a constitution which reflects the importance of every soul weaved in its fabric color or creed, religion or political affiliation, even native tongues spoken were never a criterion for our acceptance or rejection. Rather, every man and woman's contribution to this nation at whatever level, in whichever scale it could be measured, was deemed vital for its continuity and recognition. Henceforth, anything anyone could bring to the table of this melting pot superseded these useless criterions, making us loved by the world to this day. In acknowledgement of it, dear Lord, once more, inspire us through your guidance. Make us instrumental in deterring evils and paving the path of goodness for this state, our nation, and the entire humanity. Amen. Clerk will lock the machine and members will record their presence.